The equipment we will be needing is a sphygmomanometer and a stethoscope. It is extremely important to make sure the proper size blood pressure cuff is used on your client's upper bare arm when taking a measurement. Make sure the index arrow falls within the range indicated on the cuff. Using a cuff that is too small may result in a much higher systolic blood pressure reading, and if too large, systolic blood pressure will be much lower. Before beginning your assessment, make sure your client has rested for at least 5 minutes. No caffeine or nicotine should be ingested by your client 30 minutes prior to testing, and their arm should be close to heart level at all times. Have your client sit with feet flat on the floor. Make sure that their back is straight and supported by the chair. Lay their hands out on the table with palms facing up. We will use the left arm because it is the closest to the heart. Make sure their arm is straight and not bent. If bent, a space will be formed here and you won't be able to hear anything. Next, you'll be feeling for their brachial artery while making sure you can feel the client's pulse. Next, you are going to line up the artery arrow that is on the cuff with the client's brachial artery. Place the cuff one inch above the occipital space. As you wrap the cuff on, make sure the cuff is the proper size by following the outline earlier. It seems like the cuff is a perfect size. Awesome. Remember to turn the knob all the way to the right before you begin pumping. Now, you're going to get out your stethoscope. In regards to the prongs, make sure that the earpieces are pointing away from you. If they're pointing towards you, you're not going to be able to hear anything. Take up your bell and tap on the diaphragm to make sure the stethoscope. Place bell on brachial artery with the index finger and the middle finger on either side of the bell. Do not place it on top. Make sure to place the gauge in a visible position where you can attain an accurate measurement. Take the pump in your dominant hand and begin pumping up to 200 millimeters of mercury. After you have pumped up to 200 millimeters of mercury, begin to turn the valve counterclockwise, decreasing 2 to 5 millimeters of mercury per second. Listen for bump sounds, otherwise known as cord cough sounds. The first sound you hear will be the systolic pressure. The last thud you hear will be the diastolic pressure. Remember to record your data in even number increments. After you have acquired your measurement, release the rest of the air from your blood pressure cuff by turning the knob completely to the left. Remove your stethoscope, place around your neck, and remove your blood pressure cuff from your client. Remember, to allow at least one minute of rest before proceeding with the following measurements.